to write in the end because I valued what makes me feel comfortable more than your needs. I get treated like this so some other girl in the future can be treated better. Photos true. Fuck men. Live really. Like, fuck y'all. So there's a thing about this man. When you're dating them and you're complaining about a particular thing and you're saying, you don't buy me flowers, you don't take me out enough, you don't buy me gifts, you don't post me, you're not proud of me, you don't call me, you're cheating, you're da. And they don't change in the relationship. They keep telling you, I don't know how to buy gifts for women. I don't even know how to take me. Why should I be taking you out? I like to stay indoors. Oh, I don't like going to the movies. I don't like doing that. I don't travel. I don't like sitting in the airplane. I don't, I don't like traveling. I just want to be at home. But when you break up in the relationship and probably you see the next lady that they are dating, everything that you complained about, everything that you wanted him to do for you, he started doing it for the next girl. Why do they do that? Why? And at the end of the day, we remain, we start blaming ourselves. Like, was I the problem? Is it that he didn't love me enough? Is it that I was not, you know, perfect for him? Is it that I was not pretty enough? Women start blaming themselves. A lady, she's talking about a therapy section and how she felt. And this is exactly what happened to her. And this always happens to her every time. She notices that whatever she complains to her ex, they don't do it for her, but they do it to the next girl. And they try to like blame her and all of that. And this, let me roll the clip for you to watch to the end. And I'll be back to share my thoughts at the end of the video. He broke up with me because he was like, I'm never going to be the guy who posts you on Instagram or who buys you flowers, which I thought was stupid. And then now I hear that he has a new girlfriend and they're traveling around Europe together and he posts her on Instagram. He refused to ever post me. Now a year later, he can date someone and like happily be posting her. Even though I don't even want him anymore, it's like the principle of things that makes me salty. And it's just like annoying because like people or society, they'll say like, oh, it's because they don't like you enough. And I just never felt like that was like an adequate explanation. And it's like the same thing with, it's like where he was like, well, I just didn't like you enough. That's why I treated you so poorly in the end. It's just this stupid way for these men to not take accountability for being a shitty partner. And it's like, they always are like of the idea of like, well, one day I'll meet the right person. For the right person, I'm suddenly gonna become this like very romantic and amazing partner. This person's gonna be so perfect that they're gonna bring out these characteristics in me that I've never had with anybody else. I hate flowers, but I'm gonna like them so much that I'm gonna buy them flowers. I'm gonna be inspired by them flowers because I like them. I like them so much more than I could ever like you. That's what it seems like they're saying, like as if it's my fault. Me getting treated shittily by them is somehow my fault because I wasn't enough. I couldn't make them like me enough. I couldn't elicit strong enough feelings from them for them to treat me right. Like I couldn't make them treat me right because I wasn't enough. And it pisses me off because logically that is so stupid if you are a bully and you're bullying someone you bullying them has nothing to do with the victim you're a bully because you're a shitty person not because that person is somebody deserving of being bullied i feel like these men use this hypothetical girl as a hypothetical benchmark to excuse why they treat you so shittily and it's a way for them to not take accountability by just having this hypothetical benchmark that would just be pushed and pushed and pushed back i feel like if they happen to change and start treating the next person better it has nothing to do with the other person it's just because they decided oh you know maybe i should be a little bit better and post my girlfriend on instagram and buy her flowers because that seems like a normal thing most people would do in a relationship without complaint i just hate being blamed for someone treating me badly i hate being blamed for it if i cheat on someone it has nothing to do with them they didn't deserve to be cheated on yeah. i just cheated on them because i'm a shitty person like why are these people like blaming me for them treating me poorly i think i read something else online that like really pissed me off someone was asking a question why does my boyfriend get so mad when i express my needs to him one of the comments that i thought was so true was just like it's because they don't really care about you they want to be in a relationship 
but they don't want to do what it takes to nurture the relationship and to have a healthy partnership with you they just want mm -hmm. the benefits of a relationship they hate the fact that they have to go out of their way to make you feel loved in order to reap the benefits of a relationship they resent the fact that they can't just exist and be loved and be taken care of without doing anything for their partner they resent the fact they have to be romantic they just want to put in no effort and just like be accepted and loved as they are without giving me anything they got pissed i had needs and that they couldn't just exist and treat me shittily they got mad that like I didn't want to accept that and that I dared to ask more of them. In regards to my Chicago ex starting to post his new girlfriend on Instagram, I feel like it's not a matter of, oh, he likes me more. I feel like it's more of like, he realized that I was asking for basic things. And so in his next relationship, he decided maybe I should become a better partner mm -hmm. in the future because maybe I wasn't a good partner in the past. Instead of changing for me, instead of becoming a better partner for me, they chose to break up with me. They couldn't like let go of their ego. If they change for me, they're giving me too much power. So they'll change in the next relationship as a way to save face. They'll take that feedback and move to the next relationship. It just pisses me off and it makes me want to die alone. I feel like this is all so jaded, but like this is just how I really feel about these men. And I hate them and I hate myself for ever liking them and ever even having experienced this. I like almost hate myself for like putting myself in this position even though i didn't know they were like this in the beginning they act so great in the beginning you only see the true colors like four months later how could i ever anticipate that like i couldn't it feels like i blame myself for being treated poorly and on top of that these men are blaming me for them treating me poorly so it's like the whole thing just feels like my fault mm -hmm. it's like when they end things with me they always like say all this like bullshit that's just like oh like I think the world of you. You've changed me so much. I think the world of you. You've taught me so many things. There's so many things I admire about you. I think you're an amazing person. They always say stupid shit like that. Like that I don't even know if they mean, but it stings because they, they say that and yet they treat me so poorly. How can you even mean what you say when your actions are saying something completely different? How can you say that you care for me when you clearly do not care for me at all? Be fucking for real here like be for real like be honest admit that you don't care about me don't say that you think all these positive things about me and yet decide that i'm not good enough or like that i'm not what you want like don't don't do this like weird gaslighty like back and forth thing just be straight because to me if i really thought the world of somebody even if they weren't a romantic match for me i would never treat them so disrespectfully especially on their birthday and i would never blame my bad behavior on them i would take accountability i would be like you know what i didn't treat you right in the end because i valued what makes me feel comfortable more than your needs because i cared more about how i felt than i cared about you that's the truth these people just can't be honest it's because they're so stupid and not self-aware that they don't, they don't even realize this like that's even if I explain this to them, I don't even know if they would understand because they're so stupid. I'm sick of being like this lesson for them to change and be better. I'm sick of being this like casualty, this casualty in their journey to be a better partner. Like I, that's all I am really. I'm just like a casualty. It's like I get treated like this so some other girl in the future can be treated better. When in fact, I just want to be the one who is treated well. Like it doesn't feel fair. Like I want to be treated the way that I deserve. They want to be in a relationship, but they don't want to do what it takes to nurture the relationship. So the video that you just saw is so good. And I, if you're someone who's really interested in learning how to decenter men in your life, I need you to go watch the previous video and then come watch this. Now, I'm going to hold the girlie's hand when I say this. Decenter men. De Decenter them. And I think for me personally, it has been one of the best things that I have done both for my mental health, my physical health <clears throat> and going forward as someone who is 31 years old who is not in a relationship but I am dating um, just to understand the sheer madness that goes on in most of this men's head and this is not to say that you know this is everybody's experience but in my previous relationship something that kept coming up was how 
doing something that is seen that is the most basic of things um was something that was very hectic for him and then after i left the relationship it wasn't up to two months he got a girlfriend and then was doing everything that i had oh, asked God. for in that new relationship without mm. fuss mm. and and you know i had a mental breakdown going back home that day because i kept asking myself was it me am i the problem what exactly about me makes it easy for people to treat me so shittily and make me feel like shit but the truth is this is not about you it was never about you it would never be about you because the issue will always remain that people especially men cis men will refuse to take accountability for the fact that they are treating you shittily but still benefiting from you in a lot of ways and for my decision to refuse to enter another fucking relationship is an act of political warfare <laughs> it's just it's my own way of resistance because i refuse to be in another relationship that is benefiting only them. only them i would rather die i would jump off a fucking cliff let you over lead. i say this to every woman if you're struggling with coming to terms that these niggas don't actually like you i need you to just i want to hold your hand when i say this they don't they do not and the earlier you get the fuck out of there, the better for you. The, be the better. Because listening to her talk and like walk through her process was literally how I felt dealing with that particular experience. Because at some point you sit down and you're like, oh my God, like, is it me? No, baby, it's not you. It would never be about you. Never. And just watching them move from you to dating someone and then eventually marrying them and you know going on to have a family with them it does something to your brain it does but i just wanted to say that if you're a young girl the fucking what the center men and so that you can go on and live your life and you'll be happy because these people they're out here trying i remember telling my friend yesterday that being a woman is is literally martyrdom but the only difference is that you don't die immediately you die a series of small deaths and in a way i feel like that is my body's way of making sure that like when i eventually die it won't be as painful as what this fucking human beings put us through fuck men live really like fuck your knowing that this man can do this to you i would agree with the second creator saying the center man as earlier as you can okay the center them don't put them on your head okay don't put them on your head live your life <laughs> to be honest because what you're complaining about that you want to die on top and you are telling them don't do it and they are making you see reason why they cannot do it for you i can't buy you flowers there was a time i posted a video that the guy he, the guy made a video by himself saying that he cannot believe that he has started buying flowers for his new babe that he cannot stop buying her gifts he cannot stop buying her gifts he calls her pet names and these are the things that his ex was saying that she wanted but he was not doing it for her he said it's he said, but he's doing it now like ease. That it just felt like a man would do what he wants to do. He, see, these men, they know what they want. They know. They know what they want to do. They, they will do it. So if you're in a relationship, you're begging for something they are not doing. Once they move to the next girl, they will do it for the person with ease. And the thing is that, why do they always, to me, I don't know why they always do that. I just feel like, they just like to, you know, okay, this babe I was dating before, this was what, maybe this was the reason why she left me. Well, let me do this to the next girl so she's not going to leave me so I can control her, you know. 
So I can, they always want to be in control, in charge, so I can control her. So they try to do the things that the other lady was complaining about. I just feel like that's what they do, okay? And it's just so sad because these things actually make women to feel bad and feel less for the, less of themselves. They feel like they are not good enough. They feel like they are the problem, and it makes them to just shrink back. And I, mean, I just feel like there's no how, there's no how <laughs> it will not affect you as a person because you. Are literally complaining about these things and these are the reasons why whereby you left the person and the next relationship they started doing the same thing that you were complaining and they act acting like it can never be done like it's not their thing and you start seeing them doing this back to back and in fact they are even telling you some some keep in touch with their ex you know I don't know why, <laughs> but some do, and they can tell you, oh, I did this, I, I realized, now I, now I, they even let you know, now I realize how important these things are, I'm doing it for my, probably my wife, for my girlfriend now, and thank you for letting me realize, they even tell you, they even thank you, thank you for letting me realize that these things are important in the relationship. Those things <laughs> can be very annoying and can actually make a woman feel bad. And that is why we keep saying you have to dissenter them. Okay, even when even you want to be in a relationship with them, dissenter them. They do, they don't do, you are happy. You place your focus on another happiness. Okay. You don't have to focus like okay, this is this man was the one to make me happy. No. Always find something, have a hobby that makes you happy. Something, maybe you have a friend, have something that you do that makes you happy aside from your partner so that you don't have to focus that happiness on them because the moment they don't do those things for you, you're already sad, you're depressed, you don't even, your day is scattered, your week is scattered. You just get disorganized, okay? So it's always better to just put them aside, focus on yourself, even while you're in a relationship, when we say the same time, we don't say do not date men, right? You can still be in a relationship with them and still dissenter them and still focus on yourself and still be happy and still realize that you are the prize and still know that you are not the problem because the old, most of them always make you look as if you're the problem. The men that cheat, they go out there to cheat. You ask them, oh, why are you going out there to cheat on your wife? They'd be like, oh, my wife is so dirty. She's so dirty right now. She doesn't clean up herself. Like, she doesn't cook. Oh, my wife doesn't know she's not good on bed anymore. Well, she, she, she puts to bed. She doesn't have my time. She has time for the baby. Uh, she now has stretch mark all over her breast. Like, they just look for something and blame you for their bad acts. And you, you start like, ah, am I the problem? oh is it me that you are not the problem to be honest you are not the problem they are the problem and they are so it's so wrong for them not to even admit most of them don't admit that they are the problem they always try to make you feel like you are the reason why they are doing those bad things to you but that's not the case they are doing those things because they want to do when a man wants to he would yes we know that so they whatever they want to do they will do it so if they are not doing it in the relationship and you are not enjoying the relationship why can't you just walk away and be happy single why than being in the relationship and at the end of the day when you leave the what you're complaining about you're doing it for the other woman it's going to be very painful and uh, i don't know <laughs> what is your take on today's conversation what is your take let me know your thoughts and comments and opinion in the comment section respectfully right thank you all so much for tuning in today's video it's your favorite girl again maria davis and don't forget to like and share and subscribe and turn on the post notification bell so you get notified once i upload another interesting video and of course i'll see you all in my next video <laughs> bye